sweetie, I will ask her, okay? It's just, Leah's been through a lot lately and I, I just haven't found the right time. Yes, I will, as soon as she gets up. Okay? I gotta go. I'll see you at work. Bye. Hey. Morning. What are your plans for today? Um, I think I'm just gonna stay in. All right. Uh, Leah, Angelo and I have been talking about moving in together. And I said I'd ask if it was all right if you moved in here, but obviously that's not going to work. Um, well, uh, that's really exciting. Um, why wouldn't it work? Well, it'd be really crowded for one thing, and you wouldn't get any peace and quiet, especially when BJ gets back. Well, I'm OK with that. OK, well, there's also the fact that Angelo does night shifts, so and that'd mean both of us coming and going at night. I mean, it's going to be too much of an inconvenience. OK. Uh, Charlie, having two cops living here is better than one. Hello, Charlie. Bye. Bye. I was just thinking how many times you used to make me breakfast at the diner and thought it's about time I repay you the favour. Oh, thanks, but I've got a bit to clean up. Maybe next time. Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye. Come. Hey. Hey, did you have a chat with Leah? Oh, well, I'm sure the good citizens of Summer Bay would love to know that your mind's on the job this morning. It is on the job, but it's also on moving in with my beautiful girlfriend. So how'd you go? I don't think she's too keen on the idea. Why? What did she say? I think the main concern was living with two cops. You know, having us both go in and out of the house all hours for our shifts. Oh, that's fair enough. Yeah. There's always the option of moving into my place. Yeah. Or I could find a place of our own. Neutral ground's always better. Neutral ground? You make it sound like we're going into war. <laughs> Why don't I get a paper later and we'll just go through some rentals? Yeah, OK. Cool. One bedroom, one bathroom. Shower over a bath. Shower over a bath? No. This is like the fourth one you said no to. I mean, pretty good units. There is a shortage, so you need to compromise at some stage. I will compromise on the next one. Anyway, at least we've got plenty of time to make a decision. You know, it's not like we're being kicked out of our places. True. Maybe in a few years we might find something suitable enough for Princess Buckton. <laughs> Look, this is important not to rush into it. Why move into somewhere if it's not going to be perfect? Well, at least I know how picky you're going to be when we end up buying a place together. I'm just going to put this in the bin. Mm. OK, on a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you about moving in? No, seven, eight. Oh, OK. Because I'm more like a 10 out of 10, which means you're nowhere near as excited as I am. No, I am. But seeing each other every day at work, I'm just worried that you might need some space from me, that's all. Can you go me an OJ? Charlie, don't try and guess how I'm going to be feeling. What's going on? Nothing. No, I just wonder if it's a good idea to do something this big right now. This big. I didn't think this was big. Considering where we are, I thought it was just the next step. But obviously you don't. I just wish you told me in the first place. 